so hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel today's video we're going to talk about how to live a luxury life but on a budget <laughs> Now, diving right into the video, the first thing I'm going to recommend is understanding what luxury means to you. Luxury is a universal word and quite frankly is abused in our world today. Everyone is living a luxury life, everyone talks about luxury, but luxury is definitely subjective. It definitely means different things to different people. What I might consider luxurious might not necessarily be luxurious to you. So you need to sit and define what luxury means to you. What luxury might mean to me might be expensive things, while luxury to somebody else might just be having the opportunity to drink milkshake every single day of their life truthfully if you ask yourself what makes you feel that luxurious vibe what makes you feel high-end what makes you feel relaxed what gives you that luxurious energy and vibe if you truly sit with yourself 90 percent of the time it's not what you actually think it is if that makes sense or what you think you would enjoy if you have it for instance we see people talk about luxury being like expensive bags expensive shoes going shopping having fancy dates you know driving expensive expensive cars living in an expensive apartment you know having expensive shiny things but you might have those things tomorrow and it wouldn't give you the same pleasure that is given other people or it wouldn't give you the same pleasure as you thought you would get if you had those things because that's what people consider luxury and that's what's shiny so you thought automatically it would be same for you but in reality that's usually not the case for me luxury means free time it means flexibility it means having control of my life and once i have free time i am free to do whatever i want to do i feel my best i can understand where this comes from because i feel like my time is restricted these days you need to make a list and you make a list from things that are priority to you what do i really want to do that will give me that luxurious honestly it's not necessarily an expensive thing or an expensive experience or a fancy thing they are usually regular things that just makes you feel good you get what i mean it could be taking a bath with a glass of champagne so it's the experience and not necessarily a thing for most people it doesn't have to be something that you do every single day of your life it doesn't have to be something that you have to do consistently you won't necessarily go shopping every single day i mean if you have the money to do so by all means do so the times that you would do those things you have to do them without guilt like that's the major point of living a luxurious life for me getting my nails done every two three weeks gives me that luxurious feeling you don't have to do it all the time but at the same time you have to do it stress-free you have to do it with relaxation once you think about it twice before you do it then it becomes stressful it's no longer luxurious it takes away from the experience and the major point of living a luxurious life especially on a budget is to have the experience the experience is all that matters this is cheap champagne non-alcoholic and i'm having a good time i feel the way i want to feel because it's not necessarily the alcohol it's the experience whenever there's an opportunity to speak about learning and improving your skills i will always bring it to you guys this is self-development channel if you're looking to monetize your passion and your craft for the year 2024 to set you up nicely financially create financial stability you need to be improving that craft you need to be learning more in that area you need to be gaining new skills if you don't have a passion and a craft and you're looking to gain new skills or you might just want to learn you don't want to monetize your passion or start a business you just want to learn this is the perfect opportunity for you i've spoken about skillshare a lot of times on this channel even before i started working with them i've expressed my love for the platform because it has helped me so much in different areas of my life i am so glad that they're sponsoring today's video and if you've never heard of Skillshare or maybe this might be the first video you're watching of mine Skillshare is the largest online learning platform with thousands of classes that are led by industry professionals in different areas we're talking about fashion we're talking about photography we're talking about productivity to social media marketing entrepreneurship anything you're looking to pick up a skill or advance your skill in you can find a class on skillshare to help you through that journey now one of the most amazing things that they just implemented into the platform is the learning path i told you guys in my previous skillshare video that i started learning french because that's one of my goals for the year 2024 but also i just started my new year social media learning routine this is a thing i do at the start of every new year where i go back to basics when it comes to content creation and social media when i'm trying to learn you know how 
to captivate an audience, how to create a community, how to script video, how to draft videos, how to schedule videos, how to be more engaging in videos, just pretty much everything to learn about social media for these different platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, because they're my focus platforms right now when it comes to creating content. And I'm taking those classes on Skillshare. Also in terms of productivity, I've taken a couple classes in the past few days on productivity, staying focused, staying on check. Personally, the first learning path that I would recommend is grow your first YouTube channel. It only has six classes and trust me, this is packed with a lot of information that'd be useful when you're starting your YouTube channel or your content creation journey. The second learning path recommendation is start a life you love with systematic goal setting. This is really, really, really useful. It only has three classes and it's just two hours, nine minutes. There are lots of helpful classes that would improve and change your life drastically on that platform. Trust me. I started my YouTube channel 2016 and I've been using Skillshare since 2017. Look, it has helped me so, so much with learning, with improving, even outside social media, even with my career, even with just general learning in life. I go to Skillshare. The learning path is just a genius idea because sometimes when you're navigating through the website, you're not sure what class you should take in order to be an expert in that particular industry. So you have to source through the classes yourself or think through them when you're looking at them and then rank them by yourself. But with the learning path, they have handpicked classes and put them together, like sort of like in the bundle that you have to take them in order. It takes you from beginner level to advanced level with whatever skill you're trying to gain or advance in. I feel like that's just the best thing they did. One thing I noticed about taking classes on the learning path is you go to your classes quicker you're able to learn quicker whatever it is you're trying to pick up because you have them already stacked up for you i always speak about general awareness always in the know oh my god improving your vocabulary i saw classes on vocabulary the other day and i'm like this is perfect you could just improve yourself as a human being by taking these classes reaching out for more doing more with your life being more productive picking up skills in different areas there are different topics on skillshare from cooking to arts and craft to software design to graphic design freelancing entrepreneur every single craft every single skill you're looking to improve or gain new knowledge in skillshare is 100 the way to go now to get you set up nicely get you started with skillshare today i have a link on the screen and also in the description box below the first 500 people to use that link will get their first month free look i'm gonna say this again i have a link on the screen and in the description box below the first 500 people to use that link will get their first month free free completely free no discounts completely free on the platform i would definitely encourage you to begin your year by learning by reaching by going out to get more for yourself click the link in the description box below go to skillshare and start your journey today tip number two to live a luxurious life on a budget is to not let your bank account determine the places that you go to now let me explain because saying this a lot of people might be like really i'm gonna use this bank account and enter this place so they can kick me out i think a lot of people have this mindset that okay because i'm not in a certain tax bracket i'm not earning as much or i'm not in this status so i can't be in places like this and i feel like that's a limiting mindset i can step into anywhere i want to i don't care if you think i'm not worthy of being there i am worthy of being there i say so that is talking down on yourself talking down on the woman that you're even trying to be or the person that you're trying to be you limiting yourself from certain places because you think you're not quote unquote supposed to be there because your bank account says so is a limiting belief and we have to cancel limiting beliefs in 2024 however when you step into those places you're not also going to do too much that's where on the budget comes in you can have a drink at a high-end bar yes it'll be a little more expensive than having in a regular bar if you want to satisfy your luxury experience craving just go to those high-end places that make you feel like that have a drink or a high-end restaurant have a dessert or go to high-end coffee places and have coffee or you could just go to high-end districts or locations and just walk around that's definitely for free have the luxurious experience without actually breaking the bank go to a luxury cinema one time and watch a movie you don't necessarily have to do this as your ritual you having to do those things that you know that your pocket cannot handle on a consistent base or every single day of your life is living above your means but you could have those experiences once in a while you could treat yourself once in a while and i feel like a lot of people mistake treating yourself with actually living above your means you could go to expensive places one time two times three times without actually making that your lifestyle you then making that your lifestyle is living a fake life is you living above your means you can go to 
abundant places luxurious places have the experience have the vibe and next thing i want to talk about is buying things that are actually value for your money when i say buying things that are actually value for your money i mean buying quality over quantity and i think this is something that a lot of people know but not a lot of people practice again let me just say this before we jump into dissecting this particular point not everything that is quality is expensive i think people actually mistake quality for money or for how expensive something might be there are a lot of expensive things that are not good quality there are a lot of expensive things that are not good value for your money there are a lot of expensive things that are not things that are versatile that you could style different ways i will 100 invest in things that are versatile and i could style many different ways and investing doesn't necessarily mean spending a lot of money on something i could wear one t-shirt that is really good quality dress it up dress it down dress it anyhow you might not necessarily know that it's one t-shirt if that makes sense i think what we need to learn how to do is smart buying a lot of people out there that we see that dress so good all the time they don't necessarily buy a new outfit all the time they always look expensive they always look put together they look like they have a new outfit all the time most of them just kind of interchange things in their wardrobe they're literally wearing the same things but switching it out all the time and you can't tell you can only get that kind of styling when you're smart with your buying when you're not just going for the trendy pieces because obviously we we're talking about living luxurious so a lot of people will run out there and buy expensive bags they run out there and buy trendy bags because that's one thing a lot of people do if a bag is trendy they run ahead and buy it if you just have a smart wardrobe a wardrobe that consists of classic classic coat a classic black dress classic heels that you can definitely throw on everything once you have a wardrobe like that you don't necessarily have to bother about thinking of what to wear how to look put together because you'd always just put things together and it will work essential 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 even with your tops with your shorts with your pants essentials are the way to go they are really good quality essentials that oh my god by the time you dress them up oh they will definitely steal the show every single time and lately i've been seeing online that they started renting out outfits renting out dresses renting out clothes i didn't know about this until two weeks ago when i saw someone talk about opoli not renting dresses on tiktok i was so shocked i went up and i looked at it now opoli actually rents dresses out so it makes your life easier you can definitely rent out a dress for your occasions and return it back to these stores yeah i've never tried it before but i think it's a good option if you're looking for outfits for events and i thought this was like the perfect opportunity to just throw it in there you can definitely rent out things you don't necessarily have to buy every luxurious item just to be luxurious for different events if we're looking at things on a budget these are options that you'll be staring towards renting is a really good option the last thing i want to talk about is luxurious habits there are a lot of habits that make you feel your higher self like you're on top of the world you have all the money you're an island you're in a penthouse there are a lot of habits that give you that feeling habits like always lighting a candle habits like yoga listening to jazz music every morning or every weekend i do mine every weekend because i don't have the time every morning i also listen to hotel music as as well in my bedroom in my living room you'd always have that vibe going on candles and that together gives you the vibe like it makes your house so cozy meditation yoga cup of tea glass of champagne make it a habit to give you that feeling and that vibe by yourself in your home without actually stepping out if you don't necessarily want to leave your house there are little little things that you could do within your space that'll give you that same luxurious vibe you could have the same experience at the comfort of your home or if you're stepping out out, you have the same experience without breaking the bank or feeling like you need to be a billionaire to be in certain places all you need to do is be smart about things you can go to places and have the same experience as others but they're not necessarily breaking the bank you do within your means now let me know what you think in the comment section below now follow me on my socials instagram and tiktok they are linked below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so step it by the